Hi, let's talk about saturated solutions. Okay, we are going to take our solute, put it in the solvent, and we have some very generalized words that we can use for concentration. Uh, we have saturated, we're going to begin here. The saturated solution, this is the maximum amount of solute that can be dissolved in a solvent. Now, I'd like you to see this. So we're going to have our sodium chloride that's going to dissolve, that's the solute and it will dissolve in the solvent. Now remember um, that we have this ion dipole intermolecular force. So there's a positive negative attraction here. That sodium ion is going to attract the partial negative of the water molecule. And we're going to have six of these water molecules surround uh, the sodium. Now I'm only going to draw four because oops, there would be one in front of the sodium and one behind, behind the board. Um, I'm only going to draw four. Then for our chloride ion, um, again, this ion dipole interaction of the negative chlorine is going to attract the positive end of the polar molecule of water, that partial positive right there. So let's draw, um, sorry, you guys, a little sloppy there. Let's draw four of the six water molecules that would surround that chloride ion. Now, I want you to visualize this. You have to be able to draw a solution on this dissolving, the solvation process. You have to be able to draw the ion dipole interaction. Now, a saturated solution, this is so crazy cool. That means that every single ion is dissociated and surrounded by water, and every single water molecule is surrounding an ion. It is this pure, perfect, beautiful equilibrium um, between um, the ions that are dissolved and the solutes, the molecules that are surrounding it. Pretty neat, pretty neat. So that's a saturated solution. Now, how do you make a saturated solution? How do you get to that perfect point where every single ion is surrounded and the water is surrounding every single ion? Uh, well, we use it in the lab this way. You're going to, let's say sodium chloride, we're going to put it in water, stir, 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 it all dissolves. Keep adding salt and dissolving until finally when we add to salt, you get salt sitting at the bottom. You see the little white crystals sitting at the bottom, they don't dissolve. So that tells us the solution part is saturated. So what we'll do once we see the solid settle at the bottom is we filter it. Um, you'll take filter paper, put it in a funnel, put a beaker underneath it, pour it in. All of the solid salt catches in the filter paper and the analyte, or excuse me, the filtrate, excuse me, the filtrate that comes through it, that's a saturated solution. The ions surrounded by the water absolutely go through that paper. Um, so the filtrate is the saturated solution. That's how we'll do it. Um, now, unsaturated, that simply means that there's less saturated amount of the solute dissolved in the solvent. So what does that tell you about the solvent? If we could draw the solvent, what would you see? Well, you'll see some water molecules that aren't surrounding any water. They're just interacting with each other with um, hydrogen bonding. So you would have extra water because you don't have the maximum amount of the solute, the sodium chloride, those two ions. Now, supersaturated, really interesting, and we exploit this. This is kind of a weird definition. More than the saturated amount. How can we have more than the maximum? That seems like an oxymoron. More than the saturated amount of solute, and I'm going to put in parentheses, maximum, okay, dissolved in a solvent at a given temperature. Okay, so this is what we do. We're going to take that saturated amount and you start to heat it up and you stir and you heat and you stir and guess what? It forces the solvent, the solvent, to dissolve more of the solute. It keeps dissolving and dissolving and dissolving as you heat it. Now it's very unstable, so you have to be careful not to bump it, and you want to cool it very, very slowly. There is a fabulous de um, demo by Dennis Hummer. Um, he and I work together at the University of Utah. I will put the link um, so that you can watch this demo. It's worth seeing the saturated solution, and it falls out of solution. It's pretty cool. So I will share the link with you. Um, but you let it cool, and when it cools, if you compare, compare the amount of solute in that supersaturated solution, it's greater than just a regular 
um, saturated solution. The amount of solute um, in the saturated is less than the super saturated. Um, a place that we exploit this is rock candy. Man, if you're going to super saturate, sugar is the way to go. <laughs> the more sugar, the better, right? Um, so rock candy, that is an example of super saturation. Heat it, dissolve, 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 dissolve that sugar, let it cool down, it crystallizes, and you have more sugar than you really should have. It's great. Okay, so there's the discussion on saturation. If you have other questions, need anything with solution, um, solutions, so, um, solvation, dissolving, please check out the um, Lean Think channel and you can go to the playlist solutions. Um, anything you need for chemistry, hundreds and hundreds of videos to help you. Have a wonderful day. Good luck. Thanks.